Hello and welcome. I will uh, explain you the free shopping cart system from Data Logica, which has been specially made for Sandfox and Rapid Weaver. But what you need to know is uh, for the card config.pl file, which is open here. First of all, when you have uh, downloaded uh, the script in the zip format, uh, we'll go to the right and you have a look here. Okay, the path here, this file is very important so that you know uh, what the paths are from your, uh, your, your uh, server. Let's take a look here. Um, it's uh, a lot is explained in um, the cardconfig.pl file, so it's easy to understand certain things, but maybe not everything is very clear. So I will try here to do uh, my best and to explain you. Uh, upload the path.cgi to your web server, and for Unix servers, change the mode, the permissions. It also is called Schmod to 755. Now go to your website, fill in the address, and um, leave the browser open, and you will see the path. If that doesn't work, then you have to change. I'll zoom out a little, and I need to go back here. You have to change this line, Unix, to this one. Local has been added. Windows servers normally have this. Okay. Now I go down below. I don't think I need to explain this. It's the name of your site or web uh, shop. So put in here your name. At the URLs, you put everything from your domain name. And if your CGI is not CGI-bin, just change it like this and you're done put it on every spot photos must be um, uh, as you can see here it's a 777 schmod also the HTML folder these are folders and these the CGI's are files now I have made two examples below of a continue shopping link. Only one can be used, but maybe uh, uh, you like the other one. This one is standard. <coughs> um, you see it's only cart.cgi. The other one is the same one, continue shopping. It's when your customer click on continue shopping link. Um, it says extra, question mark, action is search and keyword is plus. Well, now I will show you um, what's the difference. Here I have a website and you can see I'm now in view card which is here. Uh, I will click on continue shopping. When I click I have a search by category so I can click here I want jeans or t-shirts. I did I didn't do more uh, products and, and categories here, it's just a, a demo website, but people can uh, make a choice here. Uh, there's also a possibility to search by keyword or phrase. Of course, they can click here and they will see all products. Let's say I want only jeans and I search then it will show me jeans and this lady is wearing violet lady jeans now let's say on the other website and I click on continue shopping I don't have the categories immediately it shows me all the products as you can see here so when I click now on this woman with the white modern beach t-shirt 
um, and I click on shop again it will only show all products because I said search results is the action here that's uh, what up to you what you prefer so here you can search by category and there is also display in all products possibility okay in the end of your cart you have the continue shopping link now this is uh, not too uh, difficult to understand I think maybe it is difficult because my English is terrible let's go back to the cartconfig.pl file put in here now copy and paste the path to your CGI uh, folder and also to your CGI and then the card data folder um, never end this line with a slash the template file is in this case shop.html because it has been made for rapid reader users I will change this typed it wrong now and um, the, here you, your photos uh, will go in the photos folder all your product photos and all your um, product pages all the product pages will be in the HTML folder well let's take a look down below security information demo demo you must change this uh, because everybody can log in into your administration area once you have uh, choose uh, a key do not change it it's also added in the script what to do send mail is for unix servers put here SMTP copy and paste it here for Windows servers and sometimes a Windows server needs this so it's not always like that sometimes this is enough like my site.com but sometimes SMTP dot my site.com your customer service put your email address here that's very important uh, it's not your paper address shipping is um, explained let's say uh, payment okay these are the payments I accept ex uh, <laughs> accept accept yes accept mm, let's delete authorize net if I want world pay I just type well, I just type world pay what's happening now no, it must be the same with the capital letter and now take a look okay now it means that uh, when your customer will order there are three payment possibilities they can choose never change on the left side these lines check world pay authorize net and paypal you may want to change this side, this uh, part on the right side you can change everything these are radio buttons corresponding with th these are corresponding this with this and world pay with this so don't put bank wire on this spot here when you put check your customer will see money order bank wire and check and this is one radio button the same for world pay authorized net is credit card in my case and uh, paypal is paypal and now we go a little bit lower and put here your paypal email address put your like this for euros and this for the British pound sterling okay I undo 
authorized net configuration world pay also you put your uh, world pay account there on this spot and here you put a zero like it says here and you are live with your uh, world pay integration now you have three options that means you have uh, size color and another option if you want and you have 10 colors or 10 sizes you can change this if you want but normally it's enough standard um, it is all USA LAL for Alaska I think and uh, AZ Arizona so change this uh, to if you want Europe you can put an L for Netherlands and put a uh, DE for Germany and France and also uh, Switzerland or Sweden uh, I can go on Belgium and in this case you can also put USA but it will charge the same so outside Europe could be in this case a possibility when it is a dollar you accept dollars use always the slash and when you use a euro fill it in as it is here I will copy it and I will paste it here and this part is a space so leave it like that in, in, in Europe it's always the sign the euro sign and the space never put uh, this because now you don't have a space you used your keyboard with the space but it's no space this is a space and for Europe you need to use a comma in the UK and the US they use a dot price is the sorting field when the search results then it's always the cheapest price first but also you can put it on code or name reverse order yeah you can do that but it's no standard the photo align is not is now aligned and now it's top and your description is below uh, put it right and your scripture description will be of your product on the left if you put your photo left the description will be at the right side and finish editing is displayed here do not edit below the line there's a lot of inf information not not really information but there's a lot of code and things uh, written here so uh, be sure if you modify what you are doing and please understand uh, CGI and Perl is not as easy as PHP it's more difficult um, I will close this you can also visit the forum at I, will, uh, I can go to my site at Datalogica and go then to you can go to the forum that's the time I've set the timer you can ask questions here or visit the handbook and you know everything about the shopping cart bye for now